Hey Libra, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to your energy read. Let's check the energies, okay? Um, I have a download before I start. Let me cleanse first, guys. Make sure you hit your like, hit the like button. Um, but I have a download. I never really start with, and I want to like gear the read into this download. But the download is the Divine Mother is back. Like, I don't know where she went. <laughs> I don't know if she went anywhere, but she wants you to know that she's back. The Divine Mother is back. Um, I do feel like you may feel yourself um, wanting to nurture things more, okay? You also may feel yourself wanting to cook, feed, care, listen to, support. Like, just the Divine Mother is back in the room, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you are new here, I'm gonna go through my message cards. We're gonna get a message for your energy, okay? With one of the message cards, and we're gonna clarify with the tarot. So first, we're gonna go in your energy, what's coming towards you, and significant people around, okay? We're gonna get three messages for each, each category, okay? If you are new here, I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys hit the like button if this video resonates with you. And if you like the vibe, make sure you subscribe and join the Butterfly Gang, okay? Um, but yes, yeah, so the Divine Mother is back. The Divine Mother is back and kicking. Like kicking. What is Libra's energy? What is Libra's energy? Okay. We got clear blue skies. Clarity. <laughs> you see things clearly. You have a clear sight. For some of you guys, you're pregnant. <laughs> Twins just tried to come out. Okay. You're cutting an energy cord. Hmm. This is where some of you guys currently are. You're cutting something that isn't serving you emotionally, okay? Um, and then we have, you're ready. Yep, yeah, you're cutting something. For some of you guys, it's just the energy of you see clearly of what's not serving you and you're ready to let this go. I could feel for some of you guys, you can be having a hard time with letting go. You can be resisting in the area. 222 two, two is going to be very significant for you, okay? You definitely want to check some type of low vibes with grounding yourself, um, going outside. So if you feel yourself getting um, into some type of low vibes, then you definitely want to ground yourself. Go outside. Get some sunlight. Open the window. Get some fresh air. Sit in the grass. You know, shit. Y'all know what to do. Let's see what's coming towards you, Libra. What's coming towards Libra? What's coming towards Libra? Mm, only I can tame you don't play. Okay, there's a person, a narcissist. Okay, or maybe this is just a very, very aggressive person who feels like they got it like that. Okay, you got a good conversation coming towards you. It's something in your intuition that you knew to be right is going to be right. It's coming towards you. And then there's this energy of somebody could be spiting you right now. Like somebody looking at you saying like, well, wait till I get my money right. Um, there's a person who, sm who smiles a lot. Somebody is really happy that something's over. Or they're not. <laughs> Somebody is sad that something's over, but they're they're hiding it with a smile. Okay. Let's see about this significant people around you, Libra. Okay. What's the energy of these significant people around Libra? It's hanging around Libra's energy. The people that been around our energy been wild for the last couple of days. Like, wild. What's trying to come out the deck? Okay, you got somebody who's crying. Somebody who's very, very emotional. 
wow. Just very, very specific. A toxic man. Okay. Um, somebody is going to do something that is not going to be the best move for them, Leap. <laughs> okay. Not the best move. Okay. And also, there's somebody who you can go and have fun with. Yeah, a real bond between friends. That's what I'm getting. Monitor your health. I feel like your health could be directly, like, geared towards or not geared, but affected by the company you keep or how much fun you're having and the sunlight that you're getting. For some of you guys, you are low in vitamin D. Or there could be somebody who's low in vitamin D, who has a vitamin D deficiency. All right. Tell me more about clear blue skies for Libra. Tell me more about clear blue skies for Libra. All right. Oh, wow. So you got the King of Cups. Okay. With the, um, is this the Six of Pentacles and the Empress? My, um, Roman numerals. Yeah, don't, don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> I be doing math. Like, okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys, somebody is a gift. You're clear about how you feel about someone. With the King of Pentacles here, it looks like you've looked and you have, what do I want to say? I'm really having a brain fart. <clears throat> it's the word, what is the word, what is the word? Well, you sat with your emotions and you really seen, you reflected. <laughs> I couldn't even think about that. You sat in reflection for a while and you thought about how you feel, what your heart was saying, Libra, which probably was a lot for you um, to get out of your head and go into your heart. But it feels like there's a decision that you're making that has a lot to do with your heart. What's pulling up here is I was just talking about the Divine Mother is back and you have the Empress here. Um, I do feel like you're about to make a choice. Uh, when it comes to something you love or someone you love. And whatever it is, it's a reciprocal choice. It makes you happy in return and you make that thing happy or that thing is happy to have you. You're happy to have it. It's a very reciprocal energy here um, for you, Libra. You got the Tower card coming out. I feel like for some of you guys, this could be some type of past energy. I feel like a lot of you guys had to look at that past energy. Yeah, you had to look at some type of past energy. That was the conflict, the ending, or you neglecting how you felt about a past. That was causing conflict. And now that you're able to sit with your emotions and really get into your like feminine energy, also sit with your shadow too, okay? Um, do some shadow work. Go and deep reflecting, you know, look at yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and things like that. You're able to remove some type of conflict. I do feel like a lot of you guys, this energy cord could be one of your energies. Be something that's not serving you anymore. All right. I do feel like you're moving from the past. You're moving on from the past. You're able to move on with clear blue skies. I do feel like that there was, in, in your past situation, there was people who wore a lot of masks. And you hurt yourself trying to get people to be, or trying to get a person to, or waiting for a person to take that mask off, or trying to assist in a person taking a mask off. Um, now that you sat with yourself and you were able to grow and learn and look at yourself and love and accept how you felt, on all different levels. Now you're able to move on in a more loving way, okay? Tell me more about cutting an energy cord. I love the sound of kids playing outside. Cutting an energy cord. Oh, the devil. 
This is the best place to get him out here. I've been seeing a lot of y'all been cutting ties with the devil, with devil energy. Like, like really cutting ties with those things that hold you back. And it's fear. It's negative self-talk. It's self-sabotage, okay? Um, you got the Ten of Wands here coming out dropping a burden for some of you guys you are holding on to some type of energy whether this is a person outside of yourself or whether this was like an old outdated mindset now i'm getting the energy of you just dropping a burden like some of you guys are going to drop this like just like drop it for some of you guys you may drop it with a couple pounds <laughs> You may get on the scale and be like, wow, I lost five pounds or I lost, I lost 10 pounds. Like, it's going to be like, I didn't do anything and, and, you know, I didn't change my eating. I, I'm not working out right now, now or whatever. And you're still going to, it's like emotional weight baggage, like literally, like lighter. You're feeling lighter. Um, what's crossing? The world card. Wow. Cutting this energy cord is not only... It's not only freeing up space and you're not only being lighter in terms of um, emotional baggage and just weight on your shoulders. This also puts you in a whole new environment because when you clear your mind, when you're able to, everything is within your mind, how you perceive everything, even what you see has everything to do with your perception. Your perception has everything to do with your mindset. So once your mindset is released from this energy, this very, very low vibrational energy, um, you're able to go into this new area. It's almost like a leveling up or like a graduation. It's almost like job well done for some of you guys. Like this is job well done. Now you can ascend on. For a lot of you guys, you're doing this right before the 1010 portal. Like you're letting things go right before the 1010 portal because this 1010 portal is going to be amazing like i can definitely feel it all right um there's fear lurking here there's fear you're afraid of for some of you guys you could be afraid of what you actually want or afraid of losing it so you're hit you're hit at a crossroads uh, you're hit at a crossroads where you have to make a fast decision um because you don't want to lose something or you don't want to miss something for some of you guys it's like the fear and your you wanting your desires are like at heightened both at like the same the same levels But it's this energy of graduations, of closing a chapter with your life, of being like um, victim to devil energy. Tell me more about baby, let this go. All right. I had the seven of wands with the queen of... Okay, somebody keeps on bringing something up, okay? There's a person who keeps bringing something up and you just want to let... <laughs> I'm glad this is out your energy because I'm like, okay, we go through this, you letting go this devil energy, amazing. You sitting with yourself and being able to become softer and vulnerable. And then we got this baby, let this go. So I'm like, okay, please don't take a step back. But there could be somebody who's nagging you. It's like you're putting up a wall or you're putting up... Somebody keeps on prying for information. I do feel like somebody could be trying to butter you up. You got the queen of pentacles with the seven of wands here. It's like you're trying to back... And this could be a lot of people here. Somebody's trying to butter you up. Um... Something smells. You got the six of... Okay, you got the six of wands. No, no, the six of swords here. You're, some, you're trying to put something together or someone's trying to piece something together. I could feel like you're trying to piece yourself together or put yourself back together again or get back on stable groundings. Um, we 
we have a person that's watching you. Why do I feel like somebody could keep on trying to erupt old wounds? I just feel like somebody could be like, why you're trying to put yourself together and you're like, I need my peace. Here's this person that keeps on bringing something up or keep on making you relive something or have to talk about something. And that could be getting on your nerves right now. Um... Yeah, somebody is young. Somebody is young. They're going to ask the question. They're going to say it. They're going to whatever. Somebody is very, very young-minded here. They can't see that they're opening up something that they don't. They're opening up a can of worms. I feel like somebody just keeps on prying. Someone just keeps on prying for information. And I feel like your energy is like, please let this go. Please let this go. It's like you're trying to move on, but then... Here go this person from the past. Keep coming up. Yeah, somebody keeps on trying to play with your emotions. That's what I feel like. Yeah. There's a huge change coming in. A huge change coming in. You wish somebody would drop a drop something, stop bringing something up, or stop trying to make something what it's not, or whatever it is. It's like, can you just drop it? No, they're not going to drop it, Libra. <laughs> they are not going to drop this, Libra. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. If any of that resonated with you, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. All right. Tell me more about Only I Can Tame You, Don't Play. Somebody stopping your path. Like, where you think you going? Yeah, where you think you going, Libra? You got the two of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles. Where you think you going? Somebody's about to stop you right in your path. Like, literally, you see the hierophant with his hand up? Like, stop. Um, There's a person who's going to demand your attention, okay? Demand your attention. Um... You're looking good to them. Wow, when I say that, the Page of Pentacles, and that's like, oh, this shiny new toy. You're looking good to them, and they're definitely going to shoot their shot. Um, got the sun at the bottom of the deck. You might like this. You might like this type of aggression. Um, I felt like for some of you guys, you like all of this attention that somebody's about to give you and how a person is about to be treating you like... Like they want you. They definitely are going to be giving you all of that. Like literally, this person may just block. You may be walking and this person may come up and literally block your path. Like, I feel like you do have history because it's like only I can tame you. Don't play. Or maybe it's just a strong energy where a person feels like, that's my Libra. You're my person. So whatever I got to do. Tell me more about good conversation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, there's an honest conversation. Not only a good conversation, you got the King of Swords here. This could be with somebody from work. This could be with a boss or something, but there's an honest conversation um, with a person from your past. Wow. Okay, so there's somebody from your past coming back to you and having a good conversation with you, being able to, to be open and honest. Um, I do feel like, there is a guard there, but I don't got you, like, I don't, I definitely don't have you, yeah, what the, and that was just trying to come out. I don't have you trying to, like, push this person away at all, um, Libra. Yeah, with the star card, definitely big emphasis on Aquarius. I feel like you're going to be having a, a, a conversation with the person from your past. Don't have to be an Aquarius, but the King of Swords and the star card come out. 
both representing Aquarius. Like, come on now. <laughs> With the Empress at the bottom of the deck, okay? The Empress is ready for love or the Empress is ready to talk now. I feel like you're going to be very, very honest with the person. If you are already in a relationship, I do feel like honesty makes the relationship gets deeper. Honest, an, an honest conversation with your person makes the relationship deeper, okay? Um, there's going to be a little guard at first, like, back up, but this is the person that you desire, okay? And you, and you are ready, the star card, you are ready to kind of take a chance on love again. Tell me more about intuition as a mother. Intuition is a, oh, it's a truth that you know. Okay, so you knew something. Something in your gut told you something, Libra. Um, yeah, the hermit. Something in your gut told you something. Like you knew your intuition told you. You were already wise about something, but you didn't want it to come true. Okay, yeah, you didn't want this thing to come true. I feel like this thing just took a shot to your energy. All right. Um... Yeah, it's a phone call here. This could be a phone call, like you knew somebody was going to be calling or you knew that something wasn't done with. It doesn't have to be as draining as like the Ten of Swords is. But I do feel like that something was, un well, happened out of the blue, but something in your gut was nudging you, telling you that, telling you that something like this was going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> It can have something to do with work or it can have something to do with court. I am going to get another card to kind of clarify. Spirit is saying, I feel like since this is coming towards, Spirit is telling you to be wise about something. If your intuition is nudging you and nudging you and nudging you, then you need to follow that nudge. I feel like you do have time. turn something around okay oh wow <laughs> and it gets turned all the way around okay you knew somebody was coming back and going to ask for forgiveness and you you knew about it you knew it was coming to you for some reason it's a painful truth um that somebody comes back around i don't know it's like a draining or it could be a draining truth or here we go again or something like that it's giving a drained energy um, but you know about this. Yeah, it's a repeat offender coming back. Like, and you're like, oh my God, for some of you guys, this could be draining or painful because you could be trying to start something new with someone and then here comes this karmic. Um, that feels like that they have a hold on you. Cause like I said, somebody just blocks your path, like literally stops your path. And this could be you moving forward and somebody stopped like, I, I where do you think you're going, Libra? <clears throat> Tell me more about wait till I get my money right. All right. Wait till I get my money right. Somebody's going to bless everybody when they get their money right. Okay. Somebody's going to bless everybody. You got the devil card. Somebody is also going to shine a light on some somebody. I do feel like there could be someone who's gotten wrongly, like who's gotten treated, treated badly and they probably don't have the money or the means to do anything now or they feel like they don't have the money or the means to do anything. Um, somebody's going to blow the whistle on who's really, who's really the, the enemy behind the show and get out of there. Yeah. Oh, somebody's going to rescue these people. Okay, so I feel like that there is someone who's... And we talked about it. Like, I think this came up in the last reading. This last check, the energies. We talked about it. There's a person who left and who tried to save someone and realized that they couldn't save them. And now everything that's on their mind is going back to save these two people. 
as somebody who wants to save these two people. They had to leave to save themselves. But now, once they get their money right, the first thing on their mind is going to save these two people. For some of you guys, it may be somebody wants to provide and take care and, you know, um, take care of somebody. All right? All right, you have the high priestess. Your dreams are very significant. Okay, you have dreams of a person being entrapped or dream dreams of a person being um, trapped or not happy or something like that. It's something somebody wants to rescue someone or some spirit is telling you you need to rescue someone. You need to go help. Okay, spirit could be telling you that someone needs help. There could be two people. Someone could definitely have some type of mental health, um, um, something going on with their mental health right now, too. All right? Okay. If any of that resonated with you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Let's go into these significant people around you, Libra. Who are these energies around you? All right, so first we got cry. <laughs> Let's see what somebody crying about. Why is cry here for Libra? Significant people around. Why is cry here for Libra? Yeah, so there's a significant person around that is not in a, gr a good place. And something is telling you it's two people. Let me see how many people is on this ship. Yeah, see you with the stick and there's two people. Or this could be you in the front and there's two people, however you want to see it. But it's like... <clears throat> Somebody is around that's not doing good, that's on shaky um, waters, okay? I feel like this is a person who you least expected, who you may least expect. Um, somebody's going to call you out of the blue, and they're going to call you, and it's all going to be about, like, how good everything's going, was happening and blah 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 but somebody could be needing a cry or needing to vent about something yeah got the strength card here somebody is going through a lot i feel like somebody does need your strength um yeah there's somebody who's going through a lot around you that needs to cry okay or needs a shoulder to lean on or a shoulder to cry on tell me more about a toxic man significant people around Libra. Why is this toxic name here? Okay. The High Priestess coming out. Toxic man knows something. So there's a toxic man who knows something, who knows a secret. All right. A secret about a love relationship. And they're about to tell everybody about it. Like, what did I say? Somebody's going to blow the whistle or something like that. But <laughs> got a lot of those going. Somebody knows a secret about. So if you're trying to hide a love relationship or something like that, this person definitely knows about it. Um, or they know about a gift that's coming. Somebody could also be spoiling the gift. But there's a person who knows a secret. Yeah, somebody wants to, to spoil your... Um, to spoil the surprise or somebody wants to out you um, with this five of cups here. I feel like this person is upset. Is upset that they don't have you anymore. This is not only a toxic man. This is a jealous man. Who could possibly be revealing some type of secrets?
Yeah. Somebody's about to not only even reveal secrets. Yeah, this person is toxic, jealous, and some more stuff. Okay, so somebody is, is trying to reveal a secret. Okay, you have the Seven of Cups. So it's, or somebody could be painting an illusion like, I'm going to tell everybody or I'm going to do this or whatever. Um,. There's a person that's just angry. They got this fiery energy around them. Yeah, somebody's dedicated. Like, like somebody's just dedicated to doing something. Like, their eye is on you. Okay? This may be a person of power or something like that. I do feel like, yeah, somebody's not thinking straight. Okay, wow. They don't see that you got justice or they don't see that you're covered and protected in the area. So, um... They're going to try, but Spirit's going to handle them. What's not the best move? All right. Somebody's moving too fast, okay? Um, somebody made a quick decision around you that was not up. Yeah, somebody made a quick decision. They chose the wrong thing. They got hit with two things, but they chose the wrong thing. That wasn't. It wasn't the best move for them, and now their life changed. Now, something about their life changed, or they're going through a change, Okay. Wow, somebody could be going, yeah, their whole life changed. So somebody um, made a, a really, really bad choice that they do have to pay for some type of repercussions or they have to pay for it. Like their whole life, you got the will of fortune and this looks like somebody is in jail, <laughs> okay? Um, so this could be somebody in jail, some, but somebody is going to pay for some type of choice that they made. They made a choice way, way, way too quick. They didn't sit, they didn't think about it. They just went with it. And they're going to pay for it. You mind your business, okay? What is go outside? <laughs> you need some fun. You need some fun for significant people. Who outside? They were like, what's outside? <laughs> we about to find out. All right. Mm. Queen of Coins in reverse. I don't like that. Okay. All right. Somebody's hating at work. Somebody could be hating on your work. I'm jealous of your work. But, oh, they're a secret lover. Um, but they love you. They could also be jealous of your Ace of Cups. Who's crossing this? Jeez. Hmm. Jeez, jeez. The Seven of Swords. Jeez, jeez. Um, go outside, clear your energy. Um, somebody could be plotting on doing something. Got the Seven of Swords energy. Like they, Somebody feels like they can take what you have. I do feel like somebody could have been playing with your energy. That's why you need to go outside. You need some sun to rejuvenate your energy. Um, somebody been playing with your emotions. Like, literally, like they want your Ace of Cups. And they're going to try to figure out a sneaky way. And I feel like that they don't feel as cocky enough to feel like that they can actually take your Ace of Cups. But they're going to do little jabs to play and mess with your energy, which they have been doing. So I do feel like you do need some sun. Okay. Definitely need some sun. You got the King of Wands here. You may be the King of Wands. Yeah, it looks like you're the King of Wands and the person is just watching you mingle and mix and with a lot of people and all that stuff. And I feel like somebody's just sitting back, watching everything you do and being upset about it. Um, they don't know whether they love you or hate you. Yeah. This person would love to have control over something. Love to have control over something that you do or something that you are, what you are, or something like that. They would love to have control. They would love to puppeteer you. It looks like you're going into this new phase of your life, and they don't like it at all. And the petty stuff that they've done in the past, it's not getting your attention anymore. So they're wondering, like, what else could I do? Be mindful of this person if this is resonating with you, and just... Clear them for your energy, but make sure you go get some sunlight because this person could have already depleted something or could have tampered with something or did something 
to your energy because that's what they like to do. That's the only thing that they feel that they could do, okay? So that is the message. I hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.